Well, are you one of those millions of Americans who rely on Supplemental Security Income or SSI or Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI to make your end meet? If so, then you are in luck because in 2023, Social Security Administration will be implementing new cash benefits that will provide much needed relief for those in need. The increases in the benefits may seem the modest increase, but you know what? It will make a real difference for those who live on the very important Social security payments and have been struggling to pay their end meets. And this one including people on social security, SSI, SSDI, VA beneficiaries, people on retirement, RRB, low income, no income, fixed income beneficiaries. We have got all the details right here in this video. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So starting off with some incredible information regarding your social security benefits. There are some reports that some people may receive double SSI checks for the 2023. And this is a great news for those who rely on their SSI benefits, supplemental security income benefits as the primary source of their income. With the rising cost of healthcare, housing and other essential, this information could income at a more crucial time. Now, social security benefits are the primary source of income for many of the people, especially those in retirement due to a disability and during the hard time. Currently, there is an ongoing financial struggle with many Americans facing right now. It can be difficult to make end meet. But with the ongoing financial struggles that the social security beneficiaries are facing, it can become very difficult to make their end meets with just those benefits. And that's the reason why it's so crucial to stay informed about the potential changes to your benefits so you can plan accordingly and make most of what your benefits should have. Today in this video, we'll be deep dive into all the big SSA update for the SSI and SSDI and we'll be going to discuss the changes which are coming right here in the 2023 including increases in the minimum federal benefits for SSI recipients and the cost of link adjustment for the SSDI recipients. Also, we will be talking about the asset limit increases in the SSI eligibility which will make things easier for more of the people to qualify for the benefits. But that's not all. SSA will also be making changes to the trial work period TWP threshold, the medical improvement renew standards and continuing the disability review process. These changes are designed to make it easier for the people to maintain their benefits even if their condition improves. Now if you are curious about the extra 2023 cash money for the SSI and SSDI, then you want to learn more about how these changes will impact you and be sure to watch this video till the end. New benefits are a welcome relief for those who rely on the benefits to survive and make their end meet. Today we will be discussing how these benefits will make a difference in your lives for millions of Americans right here in the United States. Now what is the proposed bill? Now first let's talk about what is this proposed bill. Now this proposed bill aims to increase the monthly benefits for millions of supplemental security income, social security disability insurance that is SSI and SSDI beneficiaries, also many seniors, people on social security disability, railroad, retirement and veterans affairs beneficiaries and many other underneath the social security radar. Now these individuals have been waiting for a long time to get this very important raise or the bonus increases in their benefits and the bill is expected to fulfill their expectations apart from the bonus increases. And most importantly, the bill also proposes excluding the food from the reduction factors. This means that beneficiaries will have more funds for their essential needs like rent and utilities. Also, the Social Security Administration recognizes that many individuals receiving the benefits are still struggling to make their end meet, especially during the difficult times in inflation. Therefore, excluding the food from the reduction factors will significantly help those people People help them coping with the daily expenses and the bill has been introduced to support most vulnerable seniors of the society this one including disabled individuals and seniors and many others and this one aims to provide them with a much needed financial cushion enabling them to lead more comfortable life now the proposed bill is significant step towards ensuring that these individuals have access to the resources that they need and they live their lives with dignity now the bill has 
has been proposed and it's currently accepting the public comments until April 17th. This means the public has opportunity to express their opinions and suggestions about the proposed bill. After considering all the public comments, Social Security Administration will finalize the bill and implement it. Now the proposed bill has received support from the disability advocates and, and those who believe that it will bring positive change to the lives of millions of people and many disability advocates have been fighting for a long time for such important change and the proposed bill is much awaited relief for those people. Now do you support $200 raise in your monthly benefits? The proposed bill has asked beneficiaries of the supplemental security income, social security disability insurance and seniors with social security disability, railroad retirement and veteran affairs benefits. Whether the supports of $200 raise in their monthly benefit is enough and the raise has been proposed to help individuals receiving the benefit to make their end meet and cope up with their daily expenses. The bill also aims to support most vulnerable sections of the society including disabled individuals, seniors and others. These individuals often struggle to make their financial to make their end meet especially during the time of inflation. Now, the proposed bill does not include any checks for worth $2,000 for SSI or SSDI recipient. Instead, it proposes a $200 increases in their monthly benefits for those those who receive SSI or SSDI benefits and these increases aim to provide much needed relief for those who are struggling. Now, in addition to the proposed $200 increases in monthly benefits, the bill also includes the checks worth more than $3,000 and these checks will be provided to the SSI recipients or SSDI recipient for at least one year. Now, those who have not received an increase in the benefits last year, the checks will be equal to 6% of the individual individual's annual benefits which can go up to maximum of $3,600. The provision is also designed to provide immediate relief for those who have been struggling to make their end meet especially during the difficult times of the inflation and the checks could help individuals recover their essential expenses like rent, utilities and medical bills. Now, it's important to note that these checks are one-time payment and not a permanent increases in the benefits. However, they can still provide much needed relief for those who have been struggling to make their end meet and overall the proposed bill is also a significant step toward providing support for most vulnerable members of our society and the increases in the monthly benefits excludes the food from the reduction factors and one-time payment checks will be provided for the much needed relief for those who rely on SSI and SSDI to make their end meet. Now if you are SSI or SSDI beneficiary, it's very important to stay updated regarding these important changes, what the new proposed changes are and how much it will provide in your monthly benefits. So make sure to input your comments during the public comment period and your opinions and comments will shape the final bill and ensure it provides support and relief for the most needed people. Now it's important to note that the proposed bill has subjected to public comments and discussions and final decision will be made by the Social Security Administration after considering the feedback. So if you are a beneficiary of SSI or SSDI then it would be likely to express your opinion onto the proposed bill. You can submit your comments. What do you think about this? Do let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and this is Kedar from Hatu guys see you in the next video